So first up, we have uh, Sonia Olikin. Uh, and Sonia's on our dryland pastures research team at Lincoln University. And I'll give you the floor, Sonia. Kia ora koutou. I'm here representing Derek Moot, who's the Professor of um, Plant Science at Lincoln University. So what's going to follow my very brief introduction is a video about the Ag Yields National Database. And I think the key thing about this is this is a place where we can all store our very precious data, the data that we spend a lot of time and effort and money collecting and should not be lost. So the database represents a place where this data can be preserved and also, very importantly, a place where this data can be accessed by everybody. And so moving forward into the future, we are going to have uh, data available from the past, the present and the future that we can use um, to look at a whole range of issues relating to pasture and crop growth. So without further ado, I'd like to present the video to you. Welcome to the Ag Yields Database. The Ag Yields Database has been created to provide a repository for the basic yield data that underpins many functions for on-farm and research purposes. The opportunity exists to expand the format of data downloaded to make it easier to create figures of pasture and crop production in different regions of New Zealand. Science and technical teams have been working together in partnership to gather relevant databases which include forage and crop yield, grain yield and flowering time. Published and unpublished data can be added in and downloaded from the Ag Yields database. The initial phase of this process involved a nationwide screening to determine what information is available and useful from published work in the main New Zealand journals. The unpublished data sets that can be entered into the database are experimental data from Lincoln University student projects and also data from farm or paddock field notes. A lot of data is now collected by commercial companies. This can also be added to the database as an unpublished data set in the species or cultivar level. Here is how you can access the database to upload or download data sets. We recommend using laptops and computers as the system is not fully optimised for cell phones or tablets. Sign up and log in. The Ag Yields National Database is best viewed and used in Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari or Microsoft Edge. Like any application, it works best on the latest versions of these browsers. To create an account, go to the Ag Yields Database website, agyields.co.nz. Select Register and follow the instructions on the screen. Create your account with your name, email address and password. You will get an email verification with a code as part of the registration process. Insert the received code as required. Once the email verification is complete, you will be able to use the Ag Yields National Database. Remember to check your spam or junk email folder if the verification code is not in your inbox. Please note the website terms of use. Users of the Ag Yields database are subject to the Lincoln University Privacy Statement to share the data under the Creative Commons Public Licence. And you agree that any data submitted may be used and shared under the same terms. The website is organised into three main areas. The home page, the dashboard and the data entry mode. Basic information about the location, site, dates and yield values are crucial to estimate forage growth rates and to link with weather files for calculations. On the home page, select the option Dashboard and wait to move to the Dashboard page. The last column permits the download of the dataset as a CSV file. Fundamental to this project is that all published data from many research programs and data from unpublished field records and trials are available in one place and accessible online. As researchers develop more powerful computing tools, the opportunity exists to use the data to compare past, 
present and future pasture production across a range of sites in New Zealand. The vision is to populate the database with many more datasets to have comprehensive pasture yield information from a diversity of species, different environments and management situations. In addition, the research collaboration opportunities with a database like this are immense. Experimental data from New Zealand research institutions are published in academic journals, technical reports and fact sheets. However, a dataset can have a much wider impact when included in the Ag Yields National Database. We want your data too. Thank you. Ngā mihi nui. Thank you, um, uh, Sonia, for uh, setting that up for us. Um, yes, that's a, a very good repository for um, a lot of data sets that we often use and we publish, but then might go um, click dust somewhere. So we, we've created a, a place to, to deposit that for um, many people to use in the future.